What is going on everybody and welcome to part 15 of the machine learning with Python tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to be building on the last couple which we're talking about k nearest neighbors. We talked about the intuition, it's basically how close is this point to the k closest points and whatever the majority classes of those k closest points we say this new point is that class. And in the previous tutorial, exactly what we did was apply k nearest neighbors to a real world data set. We found that it's actually fairly accurate, which was very cool. So now we're gonna break down the k nearest neighbors algorithm and rewrite it ourselves from scratch in code. But first we have to cover what everything hinges on, right? It hinges on this distance. So what is that distance? It is Euclidean distance. So what is Euclidean distance? It's of course named after Euclid, famous mathematician, popularly referred to as the father of geometry. Definitely wrote the book on it, right? Euclid's Elements, uh, which is arguably the Bible for mathematicians and scientists. Um, also a fun fact is, you know, whenever someone would, would create a printing press, the first thing you'd start popping out was the Bible, of course. And then the second thing was most likely Euclid's Elements. So anyways, um, what is Euclidean distance. First we have it is the sum uh, to n and in this case n represents the number of dimensions in your data. So just think of it as in this case as dimensions but really this means sum to n where i starts off at least as being equal to 1. Okay so it really just means i starts as 1 goes up to n where i actually uh, is your dimensions. So if you just have one dimension, it would just you would just do this one time and it's the sum of what? And in, uh, let's do parentheses here, it is gonna be QI minus PI squared. And then this entire calculation, we do the square root of it. And this is Euclidean distance. So i is just the dimensions, q is one point, p is a different point, right? So this would, in theory, if you just, if you got rid of n and i, or you got rid of the whole sum and you just left the parentheses part, like if you just left, um, I hate to circle it because I don't want to mess it up, but if you just left the whole parentheses squared, this would be, that would be the calculation for a one-dimensional distance between two points in U Euclidean space anyways. But now, let's actually break this down into simple mathematics. I always like to do it by hand first. Some things we won't always do by hand. We won't actually do the calculation, but I'll show you how you would plug it in at least. So we'll start off and say Q is equal to 1, 3. So these are the coordinates for our data point. And then P, the coordinates for P, X and Y, so this is two dimensions, is 2, 5. Those are the coordinates. So then how would we calculate the Euclidean distance? Well, it's going to be the square root of basically a couple things. So we know we have two dimensions. So we know that basically what's going to start off as will be something like uh, it'll be, you know, the square root without that dot there. Square root. And we know we're going to have at least two of these. Right, because we got two dimensions here. We recall it's the summation of these. So it'll be a plus here. And then this will be squared, and this will be squared. And then we just need to fill in the uh, subtractions. So initially it'll be Q1 minus P1. So it would be 1 minus 2, right? 1. And then over here we'll just put a 3. And then it's minus, minus, 2, and 5. And that would be the Euclidean distance. Okay, so simple enough, let's head over to Python and actually create this. So in Python here, let's just recreate exactly what we just did by hand. So I'm, instead of Q and P, let's say plot one equals, and we'll do one, three, and plot two equals two, five. Okay, now we're going to, uh, let's go up to the top and say from math, import SQRT, which is just importing the square root so um, coming back down here, converting this to Euclidean distance, or basically calculating the Euclidean distance between these two plots is the following. So Euclidean underscore distance equals SQRT. So remember, it's the square root 
of the sum of each of the dimensions minus that same dimension in each of the plots, or two plots, really. You're going to calculate distance between two plots. So in this case, it would be, for example, plot one, the zeroth element, so the x of plot one, minus the x of plot two, right? So minus plot two, and the x, so the zeroth. Okay, so that's one. And remember, it was the sum of all of these. So it would be that plus, and then basically the exact same thing, only instead of the zeroth, it would be the one. All right, so zero, one, one. So you can think of these as your dimensions, right? So this is dimension zero, and this is dimension one. So this is two dimensions, as indeed it is. So that would be the i in that equation, just for the record. So anyways. Euclidean distance, boom, done. Let's go ahead and, oh, these also need to be squared. So uh, that squared and this squared, right? So that is squared, this is squared, and then the entire operation is, uh, we get to grab the square root of that. So now let's print the Euclidean distance. So we get 2.2360 and so on. But basically, that is your Euclidean distance. So now that we know how to calculate Euclidean distance, we basically have the crux of everything we need uh, to do k-nearest neighbors. Uh, but we have kind of like a lot of framework to create regardless. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial is creating the framework that will take a data set and use k-nearest neighbors to classify a point. So if you have any questions or comments up to this point, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.